William DeMeo and the cast and crew of Gravesend Season 2 have recently taken over the Chaz Poem and Terry podcast to talk about their new season. You might know famous actor Chaz Poem and Terry from his tear-jerking performance in the movie Little Man. Oh. Or his terrifying performance as the villain Smokey the Cat from Stuart Little. Say goodnight, Tinkerbell. But of course, Chaz Poem and Terry is best known for writing and starring as Sonny in a Bronx tale. Who in the world could have played a better Sonny than you? Who in the world could have played a better Sonny than you? The Bronx Tale was a was a one-man show first. I started spending a lot of time with Sonny, and I make all the guys cappuccino. Hey, Sonny, should I tell the kid to get the mop? And now he's in Gravesend Season 2. And then we bring great characters like you're the character you play, Cesar Trimaldo. That's what when Terry created his own podcast. All the recent episodes featuring interviews with each of the cast members of Gravesend Season 2. Some of the guys that are on your show today are friends of mine, too, that you were interviewing. Having on people such as William DeMeo, Peter Gordon. Big Time Tommy, Sandy Blue Eyes, Vic DiBetetto, Steve Monerato, and finally Tony Darrow, Vincent Pastore, and Chuck Zito. The first interview we're going to go over is with the man himself, William DeMeo, who talks about his role in The Bronx Tale since it was Chaz's movie and DeMeo's first film. Here he once again tells a story about how he was picked to have a speaking line. All the stickball kids said everyone line up against the wall and Robert De Niro walks over and first person he pointed to was me. Will once again touts the new cast of the upcoming season, comparing them to The Expendables. I feel like people are saying that we have The Expendables of the wise guy. The legends like you and Armando Sante, Gavita, oh, yeah. and Tommy, and Tommy and Moore, and and audio. Four. It just goes Jeez. on and on and on. Son is in the show as well. Yes, my daughter. Yeah, that I want to bring up about your daughter. Now, everyone needs to know that your daughter earned that role yes. because of her. Nobody's going to hire you because you're my daughter. Nobody's going to hire you because you're my son. The next interview is with Big Time Tommy, who gives us some insight on his personal life and career. Big Time Tommy has a huge love for cars, which we'll get to later. But his passion and big personality led him and his friends to land their own show called Carfellas. Me, Mike, and Mario were found for a reality show called Carfellas. Where they're supposed to be talking about cars, but are too busy arguing over food. Way to Carfellas. I could take a piece of No, you it's can't! Mine. That was yours in front of you! It's not proper piece of for a guy who ate a raw egg on camera, you would think he would care less about what slice of pizza he got. Ah. Big Time Tommy then brings up the fact that he has 27 Cadillacs. I, uh, I have 27 caddies. Looking like a crazy cat lady, but instead of cats, he has cat alax. My babies are my Cadillacs. I have 27 caddies. Yum, 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 yum. Big Time Tommy also talks about his love of cigars and his cigar business. I need a light! As you can see from the burnt cigar hole in his shirt. Tommy then talks about the Goodfellas TikTok they made on the set of Grey's on Season 2. God, we did the reenactment of that Goodfellas thing. People are saying it's the best one to date that nobody tried doing it again. Right. Time Tommy then starts promoting Season 2 of Grey's on. Season 2 is going to be explosive. Oh yeah. Powerful. I'm just saying because I'm actually part of it. Great actors that you want right. to see. Writing right. was done that, w that Willie did. It was yeah. unbelievable. And finally, Tommy ends the interview with his signature outro. OS for life. Take it easy. The next interview we're going to go over is Peter Gordio. They also talk about The Bronx Tale, as it was Peter's first real movie. Being one of the many highlights of his career, he goes over all the Gravesend members that were in The Bronx Tale. Wow. I, I can give you ten off the top of my head right now. Wow. Like who? Like William DeMeo was one. Wow. Myself is two. Wow. Joseph D'Onofrio, three. My wow. fucking neighborhood. Louis Venerio is four. Peter then gives the first public acknowledgement of Gravesend season three. Season three, I says I'm going to write out the nutrition program. Peter then talks about working out, as he's clearly dedicated to it. As he posts daily about it, and he's extremely in shape. Being a personal trainer, Peter gives his analysis on what a mob boss's health means towards his status and appearance to his crew. Because there's never been a mob boss that had a shredded physique. Why sure. he's so mind strong right. in his head because he's disciplined and he does things different than the rest right. of his crew. That's why he's in the position that he holds. Next interview we're going to go over is Vic. Look, Vic. Potato. Who gives a great interview, seeming like a genuine nice guy and is really funny. Here Vic goes over the highlight moments and jokes of his career. It's maniac. I gotta get the bread and milk. Ah, I wanna go to touch my hole. She meant the Taj Mahal. She called the UPS truck, the UPS truck. While also having some personal heartfelt moments. Shamanu, shamani. Oh my God, my mom used to say that. Oh exactly. My God. Yeah. I got goosebumps. Hey. And my son, he came out seven years ago. But what are you gonna do? That's my blood. That's my son. Overall, it's a fantastic interview, and I suggest you go watch it yourself. Graves Ed coming out this year. And that's where I grew up. 
You, you grew up and on I did a Finally, there's Tony Darrow, along with a bunch of other interesting interviews with the rest of our Gravesend cast, where they go over their personal lives, career, and other interesting aspects of their life. And I highly suggest you go check it out and watch it for yourself. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for my other Will de Mayo videos, and stay tuned for my Gravesend Season 2 video. And if you want to help the channel, you can through the thanks button down below. Or you can join the channel as a channel member and get access to all my Brooklyn Bummer classics.